Hi there, Patrick here from the Breath of Fire Facebook page. I'm here to show you a neat little trick hidden within the first Breath of Fire game. Through reverse engineering, YouTuber Miria-chan discovered a few years back that by inputting a special code on the name entry screen on the second controller, and then naming Ryu after certain familiar Street Fighter characters, you'll be able to unlock saves that start you off later into the game. You'll even get a level increase, some equipment, and 100,000 zenny. To make this work, go to New Game and select a blank file to get to Ryu's naming screen. On controller 2, press and hold A, Y, L, and R while you press the following directions on controller 1. Up 4 times, right 2 times, down 8 times, and left 1 time. If you did it correctly, the background will turn red. If not, cancel out and retry. Switch back to controller 1 and enter the name Ryu in capital letters without hitting backspace. Keep in mind it has to be case sensitive. In the Super Famicom version, use the word Kiyomi instead. Once you confirm the name, the screen will turn back to blue and you can adjust your settings and start the game. Whoa! Nina, I have a feeling we're not in Dragnir anymore. The Ryu codename will start you right after Nina joins your party and before you get the Saw item in Tantar. This has been confirmed to work not only on the Super Nintendo and Super Famicom versions, but also on the Wii U. Let's see where the other Street Fighter names take you, shall we? Try entering Chun in caps in the name entry screen, or if you're on the Super Famicom, Koji, as in like a tea cozy. Voila! You're past the stone robot portion of the game, right after that really annoying gremlin boss, but before Arya. Just remember to stop by the shrine so you can get Ryu's first dragon abilities. Next, try Vega, or on Super Famicom, Napkin, aka Napkin. This takes you to the Gobi segment, so you can get to experience his greed right from the get-go. Yay. Here's a look at your starting equipment. Let's see where Ken takes us, or in the Japanese version, Banbu, or Bamboo. This puts you right before the town of Gust after getting Gobi's swimming ability. The most impressive code belongs to DJ, or in the Japanese version, Don. That's a Japanese onomatopoeia similar to boom or thud, by the way. That's right, DJ puts you right before entering scanned for the first time, with Nina's flying ability unlocked. It's time to take down Zog. Ah, crap. While there's an additional Fey, as in Fey Long Code, in the American version, I don't recommend you use it. Here's why. 
Yep, this is just a glitch save that takes you back to the title screen and disables your controls, so you have to reset. In closing, I'd like to give kudos to Miria Chan for finding this and also for sharing this cool little tidbit about the game. Breath of Fire 1 is probably the game with the best save reliability among major RPGs. It actually stores each save twice in SRAM in case one gets corrupted. I found this while reverse engineering the save system, which led me to finding these cheat codes. Just another reason why Breath of Fire is such a timeless classic. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to check out the following places to get your BOF fix. By the way, Capcom USA, I'm still waiting on Breath of Fire 3 to come to the American PlayStation Network. You can do it!